So I thought I'd get a little video of driving the parkway. We're in search of the Appalachian Trail because I wanted to get some video there to show people what it looks like, uh, especially in the fall this time of year. You can see the leaves falling. It's that time of the year here in Virginia. We got the election coming up. That's the thing I like about driving the parkway. Now you can do about 45 miles an hour on a lot of it and uh, there's never any traffic uh, that, you know, per se. And if you do get somebody behind you that's in a hurry, there's usually lots of places to pull over. This might be the Appalachian Trail coming up. Let's cut the video off right there now that you've seen what the parkway looks like and uh, hopefully we're going to get to hiking. Well, no, this is uh, no, it's just a maintenance stop. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's uh, the leaves are coming down. All the leaves are gone, the leaves are gone, and the sky is gray. There you go. Let's keep going. Kind of a scenic overlook. I uh, just pulled off to the side of the road here. I'm jealous, man. A guy just passed me on the motorcycle looking at me like, man, what are you doing in a car? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great to have that Honda ADV up here on the mountain just riding, enjoying a motorcycle? I'll tell you what, that is what it is to be free. All right, let's keep on going. I'll get some more overlooks, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful with the leaves turning this time of the year? Look at the mountains way off in the distance. Plus, I like the clouds too. There you go. All right, so I'll watch some videos on the GoPro tonight to figure out how to use the rear mic on the uh, media mod here, but I just thought I'd show you. We came up here. It says, Welcome to the James Riverface Wilderness." Petite's Gap Trailhead. I've been here before. Now the only danger here is bears, so I will be carrying the bear spray. I got it in the front seat. Um, you can see we are here as far as the trail goes, and we're going to be hiking up, and uh, definitely going to get the heart rate up today. I uh, will have the phone along with me, although I doubt it's going to work up here. So we'll have the bear spray and the phone a little bit chilly up here in the mountains, uh, so let's get, uh, I did see two backpackers that took off in that direction right there, um, but I'm going to take off in this direction, so I'll get you a story here in just a second about the last time I hiked this trail. Now, I do believe there is some camping down this road, now I might, uh, when I get done Hiking for the day, I might go down that road and uh, see if I'm correct about that. Uh, unless I see any big rocks, because that Toyota Prius Prime rides low to the ground, and so I do have to be careful with it. But uh, let's get going. We're going up the mountain with the bear spray and the phone. Woohoo! A lot of people. This is the Appalachian Trail, and. Uh, I just wanted to give the stories as I get started here, it was years ago, I was hiking back then, I thought I was in good shape, I didn't even have a backpack on, and this guy, he comes up and uh, he's got, he was a light packer, you know, I don't even know how them guys survived, but uh, he didn't have a lot of equipment with him, but boy, I tell you what, he was buff, because uh, I said, hey man, you mind if I hike with you a little while? So here you go. So the Thunder Ridge Shelter is 4.6 miles away and Parker's Gap Road is 7 miles away. I don't know if we'll get to the Thunder Ridge Shelter, but I sure would like to see what a shelter looks like on the Appalachian Trail. But anyway, let me finish the story. So I hiked with him as hard best I could. Now you can see how slow I'm moving right here. He was hauling butt, man. I'm going to tell you what, these guys that hike the Appalachian Trail, they are in shape, and you got to be in shape to hike these trails, and uh, because I couldn't keep up, well, I didn't even have a pack on, and he had a pack on, and uh, it was just brutal, man, trying to, but I, I hiked with them a little ways, and then finally I just said, screw it, man, you go on, do your thing, I'm just going <laughs> to move it by old slow pace, and that was whack when I was young, you know, now I'm old, and uh, so this is kind of what the Appalachian Trail looks like. 
now that you know it's not a bad day today i picked a good day to come up it's not too wet but uh this is why the appalachian trail is a brutal hike because think about it if you're up here and it's raining on you you know are you going to hold up or are you going to try to hike up and down these mountains and uh you know there's a lot of rocks a lot of treacherous footing uh you know of course the leaves are coming down now it's a beautiful time of the year but uh just wanted to show you just a little bit of the appalachian trail i'm gonna cut off here heart rate is definitely up as i go up the mountain here hopefully uh but like i said i mean see the problem is i got to go slow because i don't want to twist my ankle you see all these roots and rocks and everything this is the nature of the appalachian trail you know it's not an easy hike it's not for the faint of mind and i'm gonna tell you what you better work out for like six months before you get on the appalachian trail and then of course make sure your gear is good because uh you know you're gonna get the weather you know when you're hiking the appalachian trail and it can be brutal man high winds rain cold conditions you know even during the summertime it can get cold up here especially at night so anyway we'll cut the video off right there for a second so i just wanted to get this on the the uh, video this is where i wanted to camp but i have a feeling the national forest campground is closed and when i say this is where i want to camp i meant the jefferson national forest the campgrounds are ways away from here uh but uh so I'm on Thunder Ridge Wilderness in the Jefferson National Forest. And, uh, you know, this is, it is beautiful up here. I mean, you're looking off into the distance. You can kind of see down that way. But like I said, I mean, it's tough hiking for me anyway, being an old fart. Because uh, these rocks and everything, because it has been raining. Uh, not yesterday, that's why I came up today, because I figured that things would have dried out somewhat. But if you had to hike this on a rainy day, or if, uh, if things were really wet, it'd be pretty slick going through here. So uh, we'll get some more video, but I just wanted to show you where I'm at, and uh, we'll keep on going. So those of you wanting to hike the Appalachian Trail, I wanted to show you, you see the rocks I came across back here, and then I'm coming up to a tree down right here. So, you know, it's... Uh, it's a tough hike. I've been going straight up for quite some time now. I'm going to get over this tree and then keep on going. So now I've been going up for quite some time with a lot of treacherous footing. But uh, this is the nature of the Appalachian Trail. So uh, I can't imagine, you know, I'm having difficulty just hiking it without a backpack. But if you got 60 pounds on your back trying to come up and down all this you better be buff man you better be buff you know i got my walking stick too i'll tell you what i you definitely want a walking stick on this trail looks like i may be leveling out here for just a second but who knows you know one misstep boom you're tumbling down the mountain you know kind of reminds me of all royal in certain ways but uh, I did want to show people out there that want to come and hike the Appalachian Trail and be up here for months at a time. It ain't going to be an easy hike. Now, you, you'll get used to it over time, you know. Uh, you know, what I'll probably be doing, of course, I always wear too much. You know, now I'm starting to sweat inside these clothes because I am coming up with the heart rate way up. It's still wet, unfortunately. But... Uh, this is the hike. Oh, almost tripped. See, once again, loose rock there. But I'm taking it nice and slow. If you're going to travel 10 miles to get to the next shelter on this trail, you know, you, you're going to have to be moving along a lot faster than I'm doing it without a pack right now. So that's, uh, that's the nature of the beast. So I'll cut the camera back on when I have a view of something. Looks like we may be breaking out up here at the top. So I wanted to point out, you know, one of the bad things about hiking this time of the year is you can't see what's underneath these leaves. And uh, when I did the Outer Creek Trail, stepped right on a black uh, black racer. Luckily, he didn't bite me. But uh, you could 
you could step on something through here you wouldn't see it underneath these leaves so uh you know that's why i'm going nice nice and slow now i've been hiking a good hour hour and a half i'm still going up so if you had a backpack on you know it has to be just to get up here and you know where are you going to put a tent up you know you just got to keep going you know because uh and that's what i did at Isle royal you know when some of those campsites were 14 miles apart i imagine you might run into the same thing here on the appalachian trail and uh so i planned that trip out real well and i i planned to you know i threw my tent up on the ridge and that was a scary night something outside the tent was going blah, 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 blah. i was like what the hell is that you know but i just stayed in the tent hunkered down for the night but i knew i couldn't hike 14 miles and of course there was no water up on top of that ridge so here's another thing you run into with the appalachian trail you know unless you're going to hike 8 10 14 miles between shelters up and down mountains over rocks and trees you know where are you going to get your water you know you got to really really plan to hike the appalachian trail i'm just here doing a day hike and it looks like i'm flattening out finally because i'm all sweaty even though it, it's only probably about 50 degrees out here that tells you how hard my heart was beating coming up that mountain but now see what look what's going to happen now it looks like i'm going back down the mountain <laughs> and i see look at the footing i hope you're getting this on the camera you see how treacherous this is you could twist an ankle real easily if you're not careful up in here and that's uh that's the nature of the beast up here on the appalachian trail but we'll keep on going plus look how dense the forest is here you know you're right you're back in it you are back in it so i'm a good hour and a half into the hike probably going to be turning around here soon but on every hike there's always a hero right whether it be the floppy hat to uh swat the mosquitoes away or in this case it's a walking stick see what i'm doing I'm poking the leaves in front of me so if there is a snake underneath there you know he should strike that walking stick and hopefully I can get the heck out of the way so I'm not using it for walking which is slowing me down quite a bit but luckily I don't have to get to the shelter on the other side like a real backpacker would so uh, you know and I've been going I'm still going up I can't believe it I mean I I'm not looking forward to going back down the mountain but uh, you know, every now and then it levels out like right here. See, look at that, I thought that was a snake right there. So that's what the, you know, even on another trip, uh, one time the, uh, at Isle Royal, the trail was washed out because we had had a huge, huge storm. Nor'easter blew in off of Lake Superior and uh, the bridge was gone and I had to get across a stream, but it was real treacherous footing because all the logs you know we're still down there and you could have wedged your ankle in between those logs so i had to use my walking stick to probe for where to put my feet as i crossed the stream so you know, a lot of backpackers will tell you having a uh, walking stick as a third prong you know is extra weight and i'm gonna tell you what it saved my life now well we're going on three times now because there was another time that i almost fell down a cliff if i hadn't had the stick because i my pack shifted on me and threw me off balance and i was going to fall down a cliff and i was able to stop myself with the walking stick so you do what you want when you're backpacking but i'm gonna tell you right now having a walking stick along plus you know if something was to attack me uh let's say a rabid raccoon or a uh, wild boar or something at least i got the walking stick to try to poke him in the eye you know get you get you something between you and the animal of course i'd hit them with the bear spray too you know but sometimes you might not have time to get that bear spray out but if you got your walking stick in your hand you know like if i do run into a snake out in front of me here you know at least i got the the walking stick to between me and the snake for example you know all right so let's uh let's keep on going probably turn around here soon and that'll be it maybe we'll get some uh some overlooks on the parkway for, to finish off the video get some beauty there take it easy and uh, just enjoy the trip home in the car so 
getting 75 miles to the gallon or 80 miles to the gallon so and by the way i'll be using that b mode for the first time on the car because i'm going to be going down the mountain and supposedly that'll just recharge the battery so i'm literally going to burn no gas heading home down the mountain in that toyota prius prime so you you do what you want i i had a couple of big vehicles that you know here i am doing five over the speed limit on some windy roads and man these trucks and they were in a hurry man they wanted to get around me and that's one thing you got to do up here on the parkway you know if you get somebody in a hurry you know because it yeah, i like to enjoy the drive but just pull over man i just hit an overlook let them go on by you know that's all you got to do you don't need to sit there with them on your bumper where they're getting pissed off and you know you're doing five over the speed limit and they want to do 100 over the speed limit you know just let them by man that's what i did all right so let's get ready to turn around really nothing much to see except for the woods here you know it's uh it's a wet damp cold day you know so i don't really feel much like hiking too far you know i've already got my heart rate up i've got my exercise you know we're pretty much done i did notice uh here on the appalachian trail the trees have white markers rather than the like on the uh on the florida trail down in florida you have uh, orange markers on the trees so you can kind of see they they kept up the trail pretty good but it's a rocky uh difficult hike you know i'm trying to be real slow and careful and not twist an ankle i mean i could have worn i mean if you had boots on with some ankle support probably be better off than me just up here in uh in a pair of tennis shoes i didn't even wear the hikers i well, of course i should have but uh i just figured i was just going to go out and just show you the appalachian trail a bit let's get a look at the woods you know it's nice to see the leaves turn so uh, you know i'm enjoying it I'm going to go on and get, get a little more exercise, but I am looking forward to getting back to the car and just riding the parkway and getting some, getting some overlooks in. You know, main thing is just to get out and get my exercise, show you a little bit of the Appalachian Trail, but you know what? I, I often dreamed of, of doing this trail, you know, and, and how I was going to hike it from, from Georgia to Maine or however far it goes. And uh, I'm glad I never did it, you know. I just, uh, I mean, it'd be, it'd be a hell of an accomplishment. I'll tell you what, anybody that does it is, uh, can look back on their life and say, I, I lived life. I lived life for sure. Because uh, with the treacherous footing and the, uh, you know, the probably the uh, animal dangers, the bears, uh, and the distance between the hikes and trying to find water, you know, along the way, you know, it's one thing I haven't seen is any place I could have pumped water I'm only an hour and a half into the hike here, but, uh, you know, I'm thirsty already. <laughs> so, so I, because I didn't bring any water with me because I'm just doing a day hike. And, uh, you know, all I got on is, uh, you know, a couple layers of clothes and I'm sweating big time. All right. So I decided to take it on back. Just as treacherous going back as it was coming up. And, uh... You know, it's uh, it's quite a hike, and um, I'm hoping maybe you know, we're going to spend the whole day up here on the uh, the mountain. Probably be a maybe a couple of videos. I'm hoping to get some other hikes in. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the Appalachian Trail, and uh, I'm going to get some scenic overlooks and uh, just make a whole day out of it. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, it's. Uh, that's another thing I wanted to tell you about. You know, it's it's awful hard to find somebody to hike with you, you know. So if you are going to do the Appalachian Trail, more than likely you're going to be by yourself. And I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm going nice and slow. Uh, you're going to have to haul butt. And you really could twist an ankle real easily on these trails. Uh, they are treacherous footing, you know, unlike, uh, you know, Liberty Mountain was a piece of cake compared to the Appalachian Trail. And we did that the other day. So uh, that's Candler's Mountain, or uh, I call it Liberty Mountain. So, uh, you know, I'm trying, I'm, like I said, I'm going nice and slow, but you can't, you couldn't take the slow pace and get to the next shelter, you know? And uh, where are you going to put a tent? <laughs> I mean, right here, whoa, see, I just slipped right there. And I'm, I'm going nice and slow. All right, that's it for until we get to back to the car. So I just wanted to make one more quick video on the way back. Cause you know, I'm, 
I'm used to hiking in Florida, you know. I'm not used to the rocks and the, the up and down. And uh, I've only been up here maybe an hour and a half, two hours. I don't know, maybe three, who knows. You know, because I'm moving at a snail's pace trying to get back down the mountain. But my legs are wobbly at this point, you know. So, you know, if you want to do the Appalachian Trail, I mean, I'd, I'd do some trial runs if I were you. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to getting back to the car. I mean, because, uh, you know, and, I, and like I said, I have to go really nice and slow. Uh, even then, I've tripped a couple of times on these rocks. And, of course, I'm poking the, uh, the stick on the other side of the rocks, make sure there's no, uh, no critters there. So uh, just, just, just throwing that out. But I will tell you this, you wouldn't get lost. The tra well, trail is well marked. Uh, looks like fresh paint on these trees. So they, 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 they're maintaining it quite well. You know, imagine the rangers probably, if I was a ranger, I'd be up here hiking all the time. Uh, it is quite beautiful. That's for doggone sure. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, like I said, we'll try to get some other hikes in, but I just kind of wanted to give you a progress report because, you know, no way I could have made it to that shelter 4.5 or 6 miles or however far away it was just from starting out where I started out, you know. So, uh, anyway, I'll keep on. When I get back to the car, we'll get some uh, overlooks and uh, maybe do another trail that's not quite so uh, up and down the mountain with so many rocks. But I hard to find up here on the parkway. You know, most of the trails are like this, you know. Yeah, that Otter Creek Trail was pretty flat, you know, but not too bad. And you can see, like right here, see, I'm, you can, this is a nice portion of the Appalachian Trail, because I can move along pretty good, but then it'll turn back then down into a steep incline, you know, so anyway. So as I get near the car, it was almost a near, well, maybe 20, 0% chance. So this is another thing that you would face on the Appalachian Trail, because up here in the mountains, you can go from a sunny day, which is what we started out with, to pouring down rain in a hurry. And it's a cold rain. Luckily, it's just sprinkling right now. I'm hoping I'm going to get back to the car before I get soaked. But uh, this is, you know, so this is another thing, you know, you're going to face. Uh, you know, is this a good time of year to be on the trail? Eh, kind of. I mean, at least the bugs are, you know, you're probably not going to get any ticks on you or... Uh, uh, or, you know, you're going to sweat a lot less, let's put it that way. But, uh, you know, this is this is just a thing to face. I mean, I thought for sure it was just going to be a sunny day, and now I'm getting wet. All right. So I wanted to do Peddler's Gap back there. But uh, you can see it's threatening to rain. So I didn't want to, plus it's a bit chilly, and I didn't want to get out and get wet. But this is uh, what you see along the parkway. Boy, mountains just tripping off into, into the distance. It's a pretty cool rock over here. Let me get that on the video. So it's a cool rock formation that I can climb up on. And look at that, man. You wouldn't want to fall down that. I ain't getting too close, I can tell you that. Got some people behind me. Might just push me off, who knows. All right, cool. Here's another overlook. Quite beautiful. Boy, I tell you, there are a lot of people up here on the mountain. You know, well, I guess, you know, everybody's up here to see the leaves turn. Can't imagine how much of some of them are some old cars. I, I bet they're only on these mountains getting 10 miles to the gallon. But uh, hey, it's a hell of a nice day cold. All right. 